All right, welcome back to another episode of the TDT Podcast. This is now take five of the intro. Uh, <laughs> That's cool. Um, another episode, another fun fact, and this one is apparently in Michigan, it is legal to hunt a unicorn. Thoughts? What are we thinking? Just initial, like off the top of your head. Hunting a what unicorn. What type is- of brain dead person had to come up with that amendment? You see, I don't know, like, all the lead in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was waiting if that would hit. I was I was so nervous. I was just sitting there like, is that going to go? And you just, the pause made me so anxious for some reason. But yeah. <laughs> uh, Lake Superior State University in Michigan offers a unicorn hunting license. <laughs> Surprisingly, it's the chief herald of the unicorn hunters. Yeah. was once quoted saying, the pursuit of the unicorn is a lonely quest. We wish them nothing but good luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, I know a couple people that hunt, and if they were, I mean, if you fi- if you got a unicorn, <laughs> that'd be the biggest flex, bro. Uh, because I don't under. <laughs> <laughs> you know they're not real, right? <laughs> they know they don't exist, but no, nah, they they don't care. They're still gonna hunt them. I, they, no, that's why they don't exist. They hunted them into extinction. We're getting on something. Ooh. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Yeah. I just got that scholarship to Harvard uh, I was talking about in intro okay, number so, four. So, so somebody, so I was talking with somebody in my commando time, uh, which is our like free class, uh, by the way, if you don't go to HHS uh, listening to this. So it's like our free uh, class, right? So I was talking to somebody and they were like, and my, and my teacher, was like so so obviously i told him about the podcast and stuff like that and so he tells me he's like so what do y'all do i'm like so we talk sports but we're planning to branch out and he goes so like what are you trying to branch out to i, I don't know and some kid over here goes you should do like a history channel type stuff like with conspiracy theories and, I, and i'm like you know what that is not a bad idea but now that you bring up unicorns now with this fun fact that might be exactly what this is turning into so yeah that's- we're actually just secretly a conspiracy theory channel not even sports everything's a conspiracy theory everything and what made me laugh, like, we keep saying we're going to branch out, and then we never <laughs> do. We don't Our branch out. out episode was covering the NBA. <laughs> like, <laughs> dude. Um, yeah, but the topic of this video, we're going to be ranking our top 10 uniforms in the NFL today. So, like, you know, like, not, you know, past uniforms that aren't in use today. Like, they're, they're modern uniforms, you know, like, teams have worn them recently in recent years. So, we're going to... Just, I guess, jump into that. Andrew, first, uh, just read all top 10 of yours, 10 through 1, straight, you know? Straight up, just straight up. One. Just straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Okay, anyways. Um, <laughs> uh, Dude, we are all right. just so, <laughs> so many brain cells have been lost already in the making of this video. It took us five intros. <laughs> Now we're talking about unicorn hunting in the bell uniform. <laughs> it's a great episode. It's a great day to be on the TD or to listen it's to the It's a great TDT day podcast. to be listening to the TDT podcast. So my top 10 uniforms. I'm going to start off number 10 with the Steelers color rush unis. I think these look so clean, especially if they play at night. The yellow contrast on the all black. I, th- yeah, I think they look sick. Uh, my number nine is the New York Giants color rush i think the new york giants color rush looks really yeah. clean and i feel like that any chance they get to rock them it looks so so nice but um, they never do that's the thing exactly. they never do rock them. it's sad all right but at number eight i've got the falcons 2020 home uniforms i think the way that it Ooh. made from black to red going to, from bottom to top and i think it looks so sick uh, they definitely whoever designed those uniforms were fantastic who did a fantastic job i was uh, out of the blue i did not expect that wow yeah it, i'm pulling out, pulling out the su- surprise picks you, you already know yes. but at number seven i have the lions all gray uniforms i don't know why i like these so much i think they just i they're i think they're clean they look nice i feel like they rock them all the time and i think that in comparison to their normal home jerseys i think they're so much better so at number seven i have the lions gray jerseys at number six i have the panthers color rush uniforms 
the bright blue catches your attention is so vibrant i think it look i think mm-hmm. it, i think it just looks amazing when they play in um those jerseys at number five i have the saints color rush ones the white with the gold lettering i think those look so cool they're one of my favorite jerseys in the game i think with the chrome gold and stuff which i think you can't get much better than that mm-hmm. so at number four i have the raiders color rush and it's the same thing with the saints I, I just think the silver looks better in chrome, but the Raiders color rush jerseys have the chrome silver and it looks so, so clean, especially when they play at night. I, I yeah, think for sure. So it, it looks so nice. At number three, I have the Chargers navy blue uniforms, the 2020, yes. 2020 design ones. Oh my God. Chargers dude. navy blue ones are so cool. They only wore those once. And that was oh they were so good looking they were so clean and they, they were, were they were amazing uh but at number two i've got the titans color rush unis both the old ones that they used to have before they switched uh jerseys and the new ones because they look exactly the same yeah he's talking about like the powder blue ones for anyone yeah, who, like the powder doesn't... blue the light powder blue ones those look so cool that uh, playing at night especially um, I think it just looks, I think it looks so clean to play in. Mm-hmm. But at number one, my top tier jersey, in my opinion, are the Steelers Bumblebee uniforms. I think these look... <laughs> Dude, what do you mean? It's, it's the Packers throwbacks with the big orange <laughs> dot in or the them? Or the Tampa Bay orange jerseys. I mean, they look, they just look so fantastic. I mean, these the orange dude, the orange jerseys are clean, bro. Don't even care. Those, those are popsicles. Are. I rock those in Madden. I'm not gonna care. <laughs> yeah. uh, no. Anyways, so seriously, uh, I'm gonna have to go with the Seattle Color Rush uniforms, the all light green ones. They're, they've always been my favorite jerseys, and I think every time I'm not even a Seahawks fan, I just think these are the best jerseys in the game. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Um. I agree on a lot of points and I disagree on a lot of points. Now, the Seahawks jerseys for me, they're all they've always been cool, but they've just never been that special. Like, yeah, they're cool, but I just I don't know. I cannot I can't rank them in my top ten for some. Like they're not in my top ten. And I know I'm probably gonna like get a lot of people hating on me. But I just I have something about them. I don't know. It's I think there's better uniforms out there, and I think there's ten better uniforms. Actually, 12 better uniforms because I have two honorable mentions. But I don't know. Something about the Seahawks uniforms. They're great. I like them. It's just, I don't know. I, something about them, man. I just can't put them in my top 10. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, I have two honorable mentions. And it's the Saints color rush and the Raiders color rush. I put them both together because I love I love the way they look. I love the Saints um, white and gold. And then I love the Raiders silver and white. But I don't, you know, I just don't think they beat out any of the jerseys in my top 10. And they both look honestly pretty similar, kind of. I mean, I love all white jerseys. I really do. But I don't know. I, did, I couldn't put them in my top 10. Anyways. But in my number 10 spot, I have the Bears, like all navy color rush uniforms. If you've ever looked at those uniforms, they're actually really clean. I mean, I love like, I like navy uniforms a ton. Um, with the little orange accents, it's just fire. And then number nine, I have the Patriots home uniforms. And this isn't any bias at all, despite what Jack Gibby will say. I think these uniforms are really great. They're col- I've always liked their color rush uniforms. I wanted them to switch to them, like, even before we actually did. Um, I will admit, though, the, way, the away uniforms for the Patriots could use some work. They are ugly, but our home uniforms, clean. Um, and then number eight, I was actually talking to a friend of mine, Cole Underwood, about uh, this video that we were planning to do. And he mentioned the Broncos color rush uniforms. And I gave him a look and they're actually really clean. <laughs> they're like clean. At first, I didn't like them. And then I looked at them more. And the orange with that with that helmet, it's like black navy-ish. But I don't know. It looks clean, dude. I like it. I really do. I'm not going to lie. Um, but at number seven, I have the Chargers powder blue uniforms. Um, I think they're really clean. The powder blues I've always loved, especially in 2019 before they made them their main, like, you know, when they were their main uniforms before they switched over to all the new ones. I love those uniforms and I actually prefer them to what they have now. 
like they're now powder blues. I don't know if something about them. I think they're really cool. So the Chargers powder blue 2019 is my number seven. My number six is the Chargers is the Chargers uh, navy, like Andrew said. The Chargers navy uniform is probably the cleanest uniforms I saw this season, for sure. Those are immaculate. They're so good. Um, and then number five, I have the Titans uh, modern baby blue. With uh, not the 2015, 2014 ones. I like those, but I think the Navy helmet looks so much better with them. Um, number four, I have the I Eagles all black uniforms. The Okay. I've gone on before about the Eagles uniforms. I think the Eagles have some of the best overall like uniforms in the game. Their, their colors are so clean. Or the, the, yeah, the, I was about to say it's the color scheme. Yeah, with the green, the black, the white. Ooh, those helmets are clean too. But I think they're all black uniforms are probably the cleanest of theirs, so I put those there. And number three, I have the Lions all gray uniforms. Yes, sir. So, so clean. The Lions, I, I, I told them, okay, the only, the okay, when I watch football with my mom, the team she pulls for is the team with the best uniforms. I asked her, like, if she liked the all, Lions all gray, and she said no. She's not my mother anymore. I resent her. I don't, I can't understand how anyone could not like these uniforms. They are so good looking. They are amazing. <laughs> But um, there's two uniforms that I think are better than them, and number two is the Giants color rush. Whew, the Giants color. I wish the Giants would go back to those jerseys when they had like, like the color rush jersey and the navy blue jersey that like El- like Lawrence Taylor Taylor would wear. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, those are so clean. I would put those up there too if I could, but they're not really modern day. But the Giants color rush with the blue helmet and the Giants like logo like spelled out. Oh my God, it is immaculate it's so beautiful but number one i have the cleanest uniform in all football the 49ers all white color rush throwbacks mm. Dude, every time i see these uniforms mm. i just i love them i love them they're so clean with the number like with the font of the numbers and the gold helmet with the red it's so good i think the 49ers also have really good uniform like template colors um yeah that's my top 10 so <laughs> We disagreed, actually, in a lot of parts. I had, like, I feel like more random picks on there. No, you definitely did. I, um, <clears throat> I don't, I mean, I can't see how you put... Giants Color Rush? Uh, I don't see how you put the Giants Color Rush up that high. They're, <laughs> dude, have you seen those uniforms? They're so clean. I'm a big fan no, of No, I had them on my list. I had them at number nine. I'm just... I don't, I don't think they're, um, they're number nine material. I think even they're just, they're plain blue home uniforms are really clean. Those are nice. But dude, with the white, with the helmet, ooh, dude, dude it is clean. I love those <laughs> uniforms, man. Shoo! <laughs> yeah, dude, I think those uniforms are sick. And then, like, I'm looking at a picture of that, um, like the, navy version that they would wear if they made those their mains and those are clean too they should really consider switching to those but yeah that's those are mine yeah i i yeah i think i think they're pretty good picks i think they're they yeah could have been better but um if you guys have think of any if you guys think of any uh jerseys that we had missed or anything like that that are super cool drop comment let us know yeah uh, i don't want to be hearing about the jets jerseys because the jet jerseys are not that good yeah dude i, I like the jet jerseys it. more like before they changed them i like those jerseys more i Actually, I, I like them i thought too. that color green was really cool but now yeah. they got those like weird they got like the stripes on the side and uh, it just doesn't well, okay do it they me. tried and especially with the helmets is they tried to go with the chrome green and it didn't really work out it didn't work and now it looks it's... stupid but they're all black ones it really does yeah yeah, the Jets are in uh-uh. The Jets are. And you know whose uniforms actually got a lot better is the Jaguars. The Jaguars uniforms are low-key clean. They're like all the teal ja- one I like. The Jaguars the color rush that looked like barf. Yeah, it looked like poop. Yeah, yeah like- of course not. How can you forget those? Those are <laughs> all-time worse uniforms for sure. I yeah. mean, ooh, those things are bad, dude. Horrendous. Horrendous. I remember watching a uh, the Titans game. It was the Titans color rush versus the Jaguars color rush. I remember watching yeah. that game, and that was just uh, the, the colors was just um, all mm-hmm. over the place. You had the amazing blue of Tennessee, and then on the opposite side, you had yeah, the- you had the baby poop. Of <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie; those baby poop uniforms represented their franchise really well. So I'll give them credit on that, but. 
being a baby poop franchise, of course. But, but um, I'm looking at the Steelers all black uniforms right now, like their color rush. I don't think they're better than their main uniform, honestly. Really? It's that kind of surprises me because I get a lot of people who are like, I don't like the yellow pants. I like it. They're all black. I'm like, that, that me? I, I, okay, I, I, I get that. But okay, I'm looking at it right now. This particular image, the yellow stripe on the bottom of their pants is too big. It's too big. And it's aggravating me. <laughs> I don't know why. It's too big, dude. Unstrip. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, that's weird. That's weird. I think they're, I think their current uniform is way better. I think their Bumblebee uniforms are the best. I mean, of course. Well, that's not even a, that's not even like a conversation. It's obviously way better. But right. yeah, another team's uniforms who've low-key turned around are the football team. I mean, okay, actually, hey, we're gonna talk about the number four quarterback for the Washington football team. This man could be a starting quarterback on any team in the NFL. Did you see him play? He is insane, insane. I'm tapping my pen on the desk so hard because he's so good. See the place? He like lacerated his shoulder and he kept playing because he's that much Ooh. of a unit. He played him like last. <laughs> what's like the what's the league that like shut down to the rock bond? He played in that one. Um the, the freaking... XFL? XFL. He he was on the St. Louis team, I'm pretty sure. And when they won a game, he like I think he like shotgunned a bunch of alcohol alcoholic beverages. At that moment, he should have been a starting quarterback in the NFL. At that moment, the NFL team should have been like, we got to get this guy. He is better than multiple quarterbacks in the NFL. Multiple. Straight up. I'm This dude is the lead, the future of the league. I am 100% convinced um, that I rest my case. He's, he's a unit. He's so good. Watch his highlights. There's not many of them, but they're impressive. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. He can throw dots. He can run. He's fast. He's athletic. He's like freaking crazy. He's like Gardner Minshew times 12, is what I'm saying. And Gardner Minshew is like top of the league. He's a stud. But like, imagine like Gardner Minshew times 12. Too much studness, dude. And on ketamine. Am I allowed to say that? Ketamine. Um, <laughs> will will YouTube strike us for that? Um, I don't think ketamine's actually that bad of a drug. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I don't yeah, think they, they like do it. They use it for laughing guys. Ketamine. Like Ketamine. <laughs> Looking it up. Ketamine. 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 <laughs> um, how it works. Help serve depression. <laughs> no, okay, wait, no. Help severe depression, not serve depression. My bad. <laughs> um, ketamine is a medic medication primarily used for starting and maintaining anesthesia. So, yes, it's um like an anesthesia. Wow. Yeah, I knew that. Ketamine. So... Yeah, I've had like, by the way, many, many two surgeries. I actually had multiple Same. around one. Same. So, oh wait, ketamine risks warnings and warning signs, and what parents should know. Yes, we're clicking on this one. What are some <laughs> risk and warning signs of ketamine? Partnership to end addiction. So apparently, you can be addicted to ketamine. Um, it's used in veterinary medicine as well. Uh, it's got a hallucinogen. Cats and dogs on. <laughs> also known as special K, super K, and vitamin K, or other slang terms. <laughs> um, ketamine is manufactured as manufactured as injectable liquid. Uh, I thought it was like the gas. Oh wait, pause. Um, it's odorless and tasteless. That's pretty cool. Um, ketamine can cause dreamlike states and hallucinations, like we said yep. earlier. When I came out of anesthesia, that's exactly what was happening. Yeah, I think you told me that like you wanted like specifically chocolate milk or something like that. You want something we Yes. Okay, so story time guys. So we so I so I had a like root canal type thing done to my tooth twice. What happened was it's so it was infected. The root of the tooth was sick. Okay. So what they tried doing in the surgery was regenerating my root, not <laughs> the tooth out completely. Bring it back to life. <laughs> yeah, man, they tried growing that thing back, okay? Why? But it was dead, like it was gone. So what happened was, so they ended up, the first surgery um, was in like December, like 15th or something like that, right? This was like multiple years ago. Yeah. I was like 12, okay? So I got put to sleep. I mean, the pain was enormous before. Like we thought it was just infected with like a bacteria or whatever, but not the root was straight up dead, okay? So, <clears throat> so I got put to sleep on anesthesia. And what they did was they did the first part, which is they put, like they fixed the root back together. Mm -hmm. 
I came out of anesthesia the, that day. And dude, okay, going under anesthesia is the worst, like straight up, because you cannot eat until your appointment. And my appointment was like at 10, and I had to wake up at six because it was all the way down in like Gallatin, okay? And plus the wait time. So I like, I could not eat, it was horrible. So I wake up, I'm not hungry at all. Like the mood has completely switched. All I wanted was chocolate milk. It didn't make any sense at all. I just wanted chocolate milk. And that's the only thing I drank or ate, technically, all the rest of the day. I had like three cartons. So Fire. then the next time I went to go get anesthesia for the same surgery, the second part of the surgery, I had it to where they actually put in like the regenerating stuff. Plot twist, it didn't work. It's still dead, by the way. The root is just sitting there. So I'm wait, like, wait, wait. You're just chilling with a dead tooth in your mouth. Yeah, pretty much. They put a crown wow. on it. Like they trimmed it down, put a crown on it, so it look my smile looks amazing. Okay, um, uh, this is a non-sponsored episode, by the way. And so, what what sponsored by ketamine. <laughs> Our sponsor <laughs> no, for today's <laughs> video is actually ketamine. Shout out my homie, ketamine. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, um, <laughs> no, like smile, like construction, whatever. Never mind. So, anyways, so they put a crown on it. And so mm -hmm. now the root is just sitting there. Um, but oh, I'm getting off topic. So the second time I came out of anesthesia, it was the same thing. It was like all chocolate milk. I don't know what they put in me, but I straight up only wanted chocolate milk for uh, both of those days. Okay, I partially know what you're saying. So I actually really recently had a root canal for like basically the same reason. If you don't know, I had like a really, 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 really bad like bike accident where i lost <laughs> like and several like no like several so several vital parts of my brain it was so like funny. he looked so disabled when i came over to him dude it, it what like, do you okay i couldn't control it bro <laughs> my face was like broken it was bad <laughs> man, um, it looked awful. yeah dude no but actually fun fact from that I, ha I cannot balance on my right leg because of that accident yeah, the most. The part of the had a concussion for like two straight weeks. So on my right leg, I just can't balance. It's for some reason my right leg, my left leg, I can balance all right, but my right leg, I can't do it. It's weird, but I can't. But um, I know what you're talking about. I had a root canal, um, like as a part of that, like really recently, the tooth actually fine, like it's been dead, but it like it got infected, and that thing hurts, man. Oh my god, I was in so much pain. It okay. At first, it was like, oh, it was like a little pain. Usually, like, like, like sometimes everybody gets two things, right? Like, usually they go away within a day or whatever, blah, blah, blah. No, it stuck around. And so, you can ask, like, my teachers, my parents. I was not, like, me, dude. I, it was bad. I was down bad. I literally didn't sleep for probably, like, three nights straight because I, like, I couldn't. It hurts too bad. Even I would take, like, um, Tylenol and stuff like that to numb the pain. Didn't help. So basically, we get in there, um, they do half the surgery because it's actually so infected, they literally cannot finish it today. So they get me on some antibiotics, that helps, I feel a little bit better. And then I go back to get it, and it turns out I have a fever, right? And this is like in big time COVID era. So I have to go get a coronavirus test, it's negative. And I didn't actually have a fever, it was weird, it was like 100 degrees, 99 degrees, and like 98 degrees or something like that. But I didn't actually have a fever. But I tested negative for coronavirus. I go back. They put me on laughing gas. Like, they didn't put me under, but they just put me on laughing gas because I guess it wasn't that in-depth of a surgery because they already went through, like, half of it. So the infection was gone. So basically, they do all whatever. They put, like, a like a thingy in it to do the whatever it needs to supposed to do. But I have to go get a crown. It's February 4th. So, yeah, I was I was pretty zooted from the um, laughing gas. <laughs> That was a way long story for that, like, conclusion. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> we get out of the surgery, and my, I was, like, talking to my mom. For some reason, I wanted hot cocoa, like, hot chocolate from uh, Starbucks. And I was, like, Mom, I just want to go home and get hot chocolate. And, like, remember, I am high. Like, I am in the clouds off laughing gas for my surgery. Tripping and, balls. Bro, I was. I was tripping balls. And she goes, oh, I was thinking we could go to Chick-fil-A. And my mood immediately turned around. I was so happy. I was a happy camper. And it actually really hurt to eat because my tooth was really sore. But I, I ate it because I'm an addict to Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, please sponsor us. Chick-fil-A and Ketamine are the sponsor of this video, by the way. Um, <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, not really. 
thank you all for watching this episode of the TDD podcast. I said we were going to branch out, and I guess was this was kind of a branch out episode, actually, because we like really didn't cover football that much at all, actually. Um, we talked about unicorn, unicorns hunt, being hunted. Um, we talked about football uniforms, pretty cool. We talked about ketamine. We talked about tooth surgery. It was an eventful episode. It was definitely. So on that note, <laughs> thank you all for watching so much. We will see you again, and uh, bye-bye. <laughs>